This is Aaron with anetcomputers.com with another video for you today. Another Microsoft Windows problem. Imagine that. How to fix Microsoft Windows 7 media test failure. This was the original request from this individual. Hi, I am having trouble starting it. It will load with the ThinkPad logo, and then I will be taken to the boot menu. I am given a, quote, media test failure, unquote, or something phrased that way. It quickly goes away, and the boot menu will appear. It is a ThinkPad W520. Now, they were using a International Business Machines ThinkPad with Microsoft Windows 7 operating system installed. And they were actually able to see their hard drive in the basic input-output system. Now, here are some instructions that you can try to troubleshoot this issue. First, you can try to power off your computer. Then you will want to power it back on and immediately start tapping the F8 function key, which that should open up an advanced boot options menu. What you want to do is you want to keep tapping the F8 function key before, right after you power on that computer and before Microsoft Windows 7 tries to boot. If that window opens up successfully, you want to choose last known good configuration. If last known good configuration does not fix your issue, you can try safe mode, you can try safe mode with networking, and you can also try safe mode with command prompt. Now, this specific individual was not able to enter the advanced boot options menu, which is muy mal, no bueno. That's a bad sign, but so is Microsoft, I mean. Now, I was able to find a recovery keystroke that you can use to perform a factory reset in the International Business Machines ThinkPad W520 manual that is linked in my blog post at anetcomputers.com uniform resource locators highlighted on screen type that into the address bar of your web browser bam you can access that portable document format user guide you know what i'm saying okay so there is a special recovery environment where you can actually reinstall the operating system with a recovery partition. Now there's different names for it. One is recovery, one is factory restore, one is rescue, and there may be even some other words to describe the same process. On this specific computer, now this is just for obviously an IBM ThinkPad WF520. You would have to look up on the internet or, you know, you, if you have a, a, the user manual or, or you already know, you're going to have to find out the keystroke or keystrokes plural to enter the recovery mode. This computer, you would press the F11 function key as soon as you turn on the computer. Then, and that's as soon as you turn on the computer and before Microsoft Windows 7 tries to boot. If successful, you would see a rescue and recovery tool. Now, they were not able to successfully enter a, you know, rescue and recovery environment, the ThinkPad. Factory Restore, you know what I'm saying? However, they did have a compact disk read-only memory, which also had a rescue and recover option. So what you, if you do have such a disk, you would just insert it into the optical drive and then boot off of it. You would power on your computer and it may or may not automatically boot off of it. You may need to enter the basic input output system menu and or some computers have a special function key that allows you to choose the boot, the boot option. You know what I'm saying? So they might, might require additional steps from you. If successful, you will be able to then boot the Microsoft Windows 7 Operating System Installation Compact Disk read-only memory. Now, it, you will not need to load any additional drivers. And, but look for a 
recovery option. Or if that's not available, you know, look for factor recovery, rescue, you know, restore. Another, there may be, there's a typo right there. Oops, also, that should be also, okay. You can try repair this computer or also boot into safe mode and then run file system check and check the scans. You you did know that, right? Did you know that if you have the Microsoft Windows 7 installation disk, you can actually boot off of the that disk into safe mode or you could try repair this computer if you're able to boot into safe mode then it will be a command line and you can run this what is known as sfce which is an acronym which stands for system file check also you can perform a check disk which is chkdsk you'll need to look up those commands on your own because I'm not going to include those instructions because that's quite lengthy and those actually are two separate videos basically you know what I'm saying okay so none of the you know at the beginning you hit the F8 and try to get to the advanced boot options none of those advanced boot options work that's how corrupt and crooked Microsoft Corporation is I mean no that's how corrupt that this Windows, Microsoft Windows 7 installation became. That's common. It's not rare. You know what I'm saying? But the hard drive may not have had a problem because the basic input output systems still detected the hard drive. They were not able to access the rescue and recovery environment. Remember the F11 key option? I deduce that maybe the end user had no clue what they were doing or now this is another possibility oh yes 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 especially on Microsoft micro crap excuse me micro crap micro slop wind blows operating system it could be that the recovery partition itself became corrupt and that does happen oh yes and it's not yeah I don't know what the percentages were when I was a computer repair technician with my own business but it was not out of the realm of possibility, you know what I mean? And on occasion, I was able to fix the recovery partition. I would copy it to a, another computer and run, you know, scans on it. That's that's a very, that's over convoluted and complex for this video, but I'm just stipulating that that does occur, you know what I mean? And you're if you can't fix that file, that recovery partition, you're basically SOL. You know what I'm saying? But that's where a disk, here's a tip. Even nowadays, I'm at the eight minute mark. My time is up. I'm into overtime. Even with modern Microsoft operating systems, if you can get your hand on a compact disk or a digital video, video disk or a universal serial bus flash drive with Windows 10 or 11, you can go into the you know, they're different than Windows 7, but you can boot off of them and go to a, a command prompt and then run some system scans, you know what I'm saying, on, on the actual hard drive. Oh, yes, you can. They will mount the hard drive. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Anything further? Now, this is Windows 7, so they did have a Microsoft Windows 7 operating system installation compact disk read-only memory they were able to fix the problem which would give them ability they could either run some scans on the existing you know file system or the recovery or they could just say fuck it if they didn't have that important data or they were they had it backed up already so here's a obvious tip before you would proceed if your data on that hard drive is ex extremely important to you you would want to back it up if you do not know how to back up data without a booting operating system, you can take it to a computer repair. Speaking of computer repair, I have partnered with a third-party company that have hundreds of computer technicians at your disposal that are vetted and verified. You can communicate with them over real-time chat, text messaging, telephone, video and even remotely they can remote connect into your computer and if it now in this scenario they wouldn't be able to but 
you know what I mean? Because the computer doesn't boot up, so duh. But if the operating system was, you know, booting up and it had network connection to the internet, then yes, they could possibly remote in and fix some some other issues or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Now, as far as maintenance, yes, sometimes you could run a SFC scan and a check disk once in a while just to make sure that there's no problems with the operating system. So if you ever need online computer technical support, you can ask a computer technician now and solve your computer problem. You can browse to anetcomputers.com. The home page is where you could submit your, your issue, or you could click on Get Tech Help. Okay, back to this video. Now, yeah, I just lectured about a, a backup. Oh, if you do have a Microsoft Windows 7 installation compact disk read-only memory or maybe possibly a digital video disk, although I don't know if they ever created digital video disk for Microsoft Windows 7. I don't think so. I think with, I don't I think the operating system was that big. Anyways, and then you needed to reinstall, you would have to then enter in your product key. So you would have to have your, your, product key now windows 10 and 11 are different just really quickly you if you went if it's installed once with the same hardware you don't have to enter in your product key a second time if you want to go to reinstall but windows 7 no you had to enter the product key and it's a 25 character product key i think that's enough that's enough you know what I'm saying? I gave you some additional tips on how you can troubleshoot, you know, blah, blah, blah. And when in doubt, if you can't get any of the advanced boot option to work or a factory recovery, then sometimes you have to resort to pulling out the old compact disc read-only memory or digital video disc and, you know, try to fix the operating system that way or just reinstall the operating system. So here's a final possible gold tip. Whenever you buy a computer or any op device with an operating system and it comes with disks, whether they are factory recovery disks, rescue disks, installation disks, save them. Save them. Save them. Because you never know when you're going, where Where do you want to go today, Aaron? How about a blue screen? How about Microsoft Windows not booting up, Aaron? Get to work, Aaron. It's a test, Aaron. You failed already, Aaron. You're wasting time. Get it? You never know when you're going to enter into a quagmire. Adios. You can always browse to anetcomputers.com to fix your most common computer problems. You can also find out at anetcomputers.com the other platforms I'm available. YouTube.com slash anetcomputers. Twitter. Twitch. Instagram. Facebook. Trova.live twitch.tv, and rumble. Adios.